Okay. Well, thanks for uh, coming out. Uh, we're excited about getting back on the field uh, this week, uh, going down to Old Dominion. Uh, Coach Wilder and those guys have done a really nice job establishing their program, starting their program, and and uh, you know really kind of all starts with uh, Ray Lowry for them. They're running back. He's leading our conference in rushing, and and uh, he's a really really good player. Uh, they've done, like I said, they've done a good job. I think, you know, just looking at their program over the years and us starting after them, I think Coach Wilder's done as good a job as anybody balancing his roster. We we learned a lot from him just. You know, looking at how he handled his roster, and I think he did a really nice job. And so we're excited about going down there. It's a good atmosphere. I know they, they've uh, drawn well over the years, and so uh, we're excited about the opportunity to get back on. We had a good off week. Uh, worked a lot 11-on-11 11 11 against each other and uh, had a good week last week and uh, getting some guys back, and that's a nice thing. Uh this guy to my left here is back, and, and I've put him back in there, Casey back in there. Uh, so we're uh, excited about getting the guys back and going on the road and getting back at it. Well, everybody's pretty much back. We're still waiting on Devon and Eugene. Eugene German, uh, we'll see how he does today uh, with his shoulder. You know, he had that stinger. And then Devon Johnson with his Achilles. Uh, they both worked out yesterday. We'll see how they do today and, and Wednesday and as we progress throughout the week. Hopefully, we'll have them as well. Um, Matt's back. Corey Neesmith's back. Uh, Tucker's back. All, all those guys are back. Casey. I was back and uh, Jamal's back, so we should be in pretty good shape. It's about as healthy as we've been since we started. Well, I think the, the biggest thing is everything for us. You know, starts with Khalif and and getting our offensive line back intact. I think it's huge. They did a nice job last week. Uh, last week we really wanted to focus on eleven on eleven, going good on good. So we did a lot of that last week, and uh, you know, along with working on ODU. Um, so I was really, I really liked the way they're progressing. Lee's really finding his groove. You know, he's kind of the guy, and so uh, we're letting him go with it. And so he's finding his timing with the wideouts. Uh, but uh, I like, I like what they're doing right now. We've got to find a way to put points on the board. Yeah, we've got, we've got some plays for Matt. Uh, we want to keep him involved in the offense. Uh, how much we use him, we hadn't determined yet, but uh, we do have some a package for him. Well, I think uh, you know it's critical for our guys on on the defensive defensive front to really get after him and tackle well. Uh, he's a big physical back, and uh, they're a four wide package. They'll use their wide outs some in the backfield. They've got a couple big wide outs. Uh, a couple guys that we recruited. Washington's a guy. Uh, Pascal's a guy that's a good, really good football player. They have the ability to play wide out and do a little blocking for him, kind of like our H position. Uh, so we're going to have to play well up front and tackle extremely well and. You know, move our guys and get after them. Uh, it definitely feels great to be back. Uh, just another opportunity to go out and uh, compete, especially against ODU. They're a very talented defense. From the running game, not only from the running game, but as offense as a total, one of the biggest things I've learned uh, about this FBS level is the margin of error is so small. Uh, that's one thing we're really working to improve on in practice, as well as how we prepare for each and every game. Well, you know they're uh, they're playing well on defense right now. They're an active front. Uh, they got good, you know, got age at at the back end uh, and at the linebacker position. They're kind of young on the defensive front, but they're very active guys. Uh, the defensive ends are good players. O'Shane's a good player. We had recruited him. He's he's making a lot of tackles for losses. So they're real active, they're real athletic up front. So it's going to be critical for us to 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 block these guys up front. You know, for our offensive line, our H backs, uh, and then our quarterbacks got to play well. You know, but they're an active athletic front, so it's going to be it's going to be a, a good challenge for our guys up front. Well, I think the biggest thing is uh, you know just their overall attitude. They're they're really active. They're really energetic. Uh, they play with a lot of energy, and I think that's really been contagious for our whole team. Uh, they practice that way, um, you know, day in and day out. They worked extremely hard, and and we're moving them around a bunch and trying to put them in position to make plays, uh, you know, behind the line of scrimmage and. And uh, you know we got some some guys that are playing well. Larry's doing a nice job. Banks is playing well. Uh, right down to you know that defensive front's really active right now and, and really moving well. Coming in with Coach Wallace and having Coach AC as our D line coach, they've kind of combined and showed us how it is to play with that energy, but also play smart with the energy. So and that's the big thing. They harp on being focused, handling your keys, and trusting the guy next to you. Like just trusting all 11 defensive players that's on the field. Once you have that trust, that bond, that focus, it's a game. 
that's coming from in the room, uh, taking time to look at film, um, think about your game plan and having all that taken into the practice fields and just taking everything from the film that you've learned that the coaches have been telling you and just executing on the practice fields. And then come game day, everything comes second nature. Yeah, no question. I think it was. I think the biggest thing for us is getting guys back. Uh, you know, when you lose Jamal and Casey and, you know, it just affects your depth and, and the things you're trying to do. And, and then, uh, you know, then the weather played played part of that. And then the people you're playing against, you know, Temple's uh, – it's a pretty good defense in Florida Atlantic. It's a pretty good defense. So uh, we've played three really good opponents in a row, and and the ODU's another one on defense that's very active and athletic. So it won't. It, it'll be tough again this week. But that's that's week in and week out when you when you make this step. So um, as Jamal said, you know your margin for error is is really small, and and then all of a sudden you get a few guys banged up, and you're you're without guys. So it's just a good time for us to have an open date and get guys back. Well, I look at I look at plays uh, like the first drive of the Florida Atlantic game. You know, you're moving the ball, you're rocking long, you get in the scoring zone, and and Warpay fumbles the ball. He's not trying to fumble it. You know, just something happens in the scoring zone. Um, you know, you miss a field goal here, you miss a field goal there. You're in the scoring zone. Those are real momentum killers. I even look back at middle. You know, it's 14 zip. We're moving the ball pretty good on them. We drive down. We miss a field goal. Th those are just. They're real deflating, and so we've got to, you know, do a good job. We tried to fuse a little bit against Temple. We faked a punt, you know, fairly early in the game. Try to get some momentum and and keep things working. Uh, and so we're, we're looking to do that. But I think that was just a culmination of things with the turnovers being the biggest. Yeah, it's no for us. Our guys have stayed consistent. You know, whether that's last year when we lost four or five in a row. I mean, this year, like our guys have been really consistent since day one. They show up and work, and I've. You know, I've gotten, you know, they've done that since we got here. And that's, I think, a part of being a startup program. Our guys know how to work and they show up each week. And last week was no different. I mean, they really had a good attitude and showed up and worked. And we gave them some time off. And and uh, our guys show up and work. So I don't, our morale's been good. Well, I think it's I think it's important. You know, you want to come out and play fast and play well early. And, and establish it early in the game. Uh, we're on the road, so we need to, to open up and play well early in the game. And, and you know, we, we just really preached to our guys, hey, it's one drive at a time. You know, there's basically 13, 14, 15 drives in a game, and you play one and get it finished and go on to the next one. And, and uh, so it'd be good to come out and play well early and, and get some things going. Yeah, that's that's kind of been our mentality since we got here. You know, we just take them one drive at a time and, and – you know, one quarter at a time and one game at a time, you know, and we are a young program and we're in game, what, 28, I think. And so, hey, you know, we're just, we're making this move and, and our guys, like I said, the number one thing for me is you have to prepare all week to give yourself an opportunity to be successful on Saturday. And our guys have done that each week. Uh, they, they've they've prepared extremely hard and, and uh, we had to set back up at middle where we lost our eye discipline a little bit defensively and the guys regrouped and, and have done that. And, you know, we've got to clean up the, the turnovers, which we didn't we didn't turn it over against Temple. You know, we had the one turnover, at, you know, late in the game, but it felt good to not be turning the ball over and give yourself a chance at least. Yeah, no question. I think Coach Wilder, they've, they've had a lot of success, you know, in their startup and, and they've done a really nice job. And, you know, with their facility, their recruiting, building their roster, um, their fan base. You know, they've done a nice job. So it's it's something that, you know, we want to have success as well. And and uh, you know, they're new to FBS like us. They're a year or two ahead of us. So, uh, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes on Saturday. Uh, something that Coach Mullen talks about all the time. You want to keep a level head in all situations. You don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low. When things are going well, you still want to be consistent with your mindset of attacking each play and really seizing every opportunity. Uh, when we turn the ball over, that's one thing like I try to do as well as my other teammates and the coaches is just really try to keep everybody up and make sure that uh, when we get another opportunity to go out on the field, we execute uh, consistently each and every play. Uh, definitely, Khalif, he's a phenomenal player. Uh, just just watching him and how he prepares each and every week, uh, it's really given me a, a really a really good mindset about how he's going to perform every day. Just uh, everyone on the team, we have to make sure we're doing our responsibilities and 
Uh, Khalifi's been doing a great job of that, and uh, as well as our entire offense, uh, especially on in practice, like the defensive player, they're really giving us a really good look. So uh, when when Saturday comes around, like all the heads in the barn, like we just uh, try to go out and execute.